Hi everyone, it's Colin Brister from ImageMX Photography. Um, seven weeks into lockdown um, and I've eventually got out for a little play. Um, I was lucky enough this week to have this sent to me. This is, um, so I got a lovely brown box from Pixapro, which is always exciting because you know it's going to be something fun, something new. So this is the Pixapro City 1200 unit. Um, it's again, another brilliant unit for uh, location shooting. Battery unit just slides out, um, which is just comes with a standard charger. So that just slots back in there, and then you're ready to go. Um, power button on top. Again, got the similar setup as you've got on the others on the range. Um, all your your buttons and menus there, and your screen there, which I'll come back to in a sec. Um, again, as soon as you start this up, you can kind of gather it's a bit of a beast. Two fans on this. You've got one in the battery pack and even one in the remote head. Um, so again, they've gone for the protection in the unit. Keeping it cool is a real main thing. Again, you know, a lot of us shoot at quite a high rate if we've got the subject and we're sorted, we like the settings, then we're gonna rattle off quite a few. So we want this to keep up with us. Again, when we're using the TTL on this, um, you know, in action series, I've got, I'll have 40 riders coming around the corner at me at one go. So again, I want a unit that's gonna keep up with me. And this is perfect, because like I say, with the fan, it's gonna keep itself cool. Um, again, this has got a great modeling lamp on it. So we've got the 60% uh, modeling lamp there, um, and there is another setting as well. So, you know, that's, like I say, remote hair. You've got a good three meter plus cable there. And again, battery pack, if you're out on a location, you can always use it as weight um, for your light stand. Again, the top's gonna be quite, quite light. You're gonna put a modifier on, um, and this doesn't weigh much anyway. So coming back to the, uh, the main menu, Again, you've got the standard modes, TTL, which we're going to show you about later, um, and the manual, which, you know, hopefully we'll use at some stage, um, and the multi-setting as well. So again, on the manual, it's all changeable from here, or of course, from the trigger on your camera. Um, from here, I can group this however I want it with my other units, or just on its own. Um, and I can change all the settings from here, the mode, the power, everything I need. Again, you've got the normal uh, custom functions, the menu system exactly the same. Um, you can turn the beep off, you can have it on. You, it, you know, it's just normal stuff that you get on there. You've got the group and the channel buttons, um, and again, the high-speed sync. So, I mean, these are all gonna be compatible with most uh, camera brands. It, you just buy the trigger that you need for your camera, so it covers um, Fuji and all the others, uh, Canon, Nikon. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice, great unit. I mean, again, um, event photographers, it's a great one if you've got a studio, you're doing a mobile studio covering events. Um, again, these are great weights for the stands anyway. Plus, you know, with 1200 watts and that's that battery unit, this is gonna last you all night, uh, whatever kind of event you're covering. So it's a shame they sent us it at this time of year um, because at the moment we're on lockdown. All the tracks have been closed for seven weeks now, and there's no athletes around. So um, we haven't got much that we can shoot, I don't think. Um, we'll have to see. So no worries, we found the athlete. I'm gonna do the job. So in this photo shoot we're gonna do, I'm gonna be doing the modeling, which is quite easy, obviously. Um, today we're gonna spin it around a little bit. So normally, um, Alex, my partner, does a lot of um, behind the scenes shots today she's going to be the photographer um, and it will kind of show you how um, simple some of these things are. The lighting is very easy to use and again during the workshops I run and the one-to-one -one, um, workshops I show people how they can take great pictures professional ways very easy simply and then once you've learned the form it's, it's the same from then. I mean Alex um, today she's like I say she's going to be doing the photography she's never picked up one of my cameras um, so she's a complete newbie, but all the shots that you see in the video today will be Alex's work. Um, I've set the lighting up, we're going to go over a few instructions on the settings. Um, I'm going to set the camera for her, but she's going to make a few adjustments during the shoots, the position, the lighting, she's going to have full control. Um, we're going to go over some of the shots, um, make some decisional changes, and then shoot again. And again, I'll just be moving around posing. And then a little bit later on, we'll do a few action run-throughs and she's going to be do using the TTL 
um, on the light where the camera metering system comes in and it will kind of decide how much lighting we get from the flash unit. Um, and again, Alex is going to be using longer lens there, um, just taking shots so I do the runs down. So it's something completely different from me here. Um, so let's see how it goes. Here we are, just different position. We've got the two lights set up this time. Um, we're just gonna take care of a bit of action shooting. So we've got the 1200 this side, battery pack at the bottom. Um, still, both have got large modifiers on with the grids and we've got the City 600 this side. Um, so what we plan to do, we're shooting on the TTL here. So the lighting's gonna work on the camera's metering. Um, this time so it's going to take all the um, decisions on how much light is going to throw out um, itself between the settings it gets from the cameras so basically i'm going to approach from the top not at no great speed this isn't something we you know we don't want anything dangerous going on um, and alex is going to capture me at the top follow me down using the um, ai servo on the camera and when i get to the point where i've got the bike tilted um, she'll take the, the shot and we'll do that one or two three times however many we need and see what we come up with um, the settings for this we've gone to aperture priority uh, ISO I've banged up to about 400 only because I want to keep the speed um, of the shot I want to try and freeze the action as I come through um, and I've the aperture is down to 2.8 so it's a very short depth field like I say we've just got two lights each side and as I come down Alex is going to take the shot and I'm sure we'll get some crackers so let's see what we can get again that's enough fun and action for the afternoon for us we're going to wrap the photo shoot up now uh, hopefully we'll as we'll see later um, 
we should have some fantastic rider and bike shots from the early photo shoot and now just a few uh, action ones from this little setup but it kind of shows you you know kind of simplicity of this system um, the Pixar Pro City 1200 was a great uh, piece of equipment today definitely even with all this sunlight coming through and the ambient light um, it's managed to overpower that allow Alex, uh, who's done a great job at our photography today, especially for a person that's never picked a camera up. It just goes to show, you know, a little bit on settings um, and how the lighting works and, and you're away capturing some great images. Um, so yeah, um, have a look out on the website. There's the blog site, uh, which carries lots of information about the Pixar Pro range. Uh, again, essentialphoto.co.uk has a whole range where you can purchase it from. Uh, two books out there to show you how to do all these kind of things. Um, but keep your eyes open. Hopefully there'll be new videos soon and more blogs. See you soon.